All right, let's take a look at how we get Python and Pygame installed on a Windows computer. And if you have a Mac or a Linux computer, I will make another video showing that. All right, so um, to get started, um, Python is free and you can get it at python.org. So that's where I am right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to the download section and we should see a link for down, download Python 3.9 and it should automatically detect your operating system and recognize if you're on a Windows computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that. And this should be real quick, okay. And so now here's the part where you need to think about who you share your computer with, if anyone and what kind of user you are, whether you're an administrative user or you're just a uh, um, secondary user on your computer. So um, first thing, everyone check add Python 3.9 to path. And if you are installing this on your own computer and um, you only need to use it under your login, then you can just click install now and follow any prompts that are there and everything will be just fine. Um, if you are installing Python on a computer where perhaps multiple users will want to have access to it, then we're going to go to customize installation. Um, you'll also want to do this, maybe if you're on a shared computer and you're putting Python in on an admin account, but your account is not an admin account, then go to customize installation. And I have to do this at school, so this is the one I'm going to do because um, these computers are shared with multiple student accounts every day. So on this page, everything should be checked by default, but the important one is make sure that PIP and the idle one are installed. And then I am going to hit next, and I'm going to check the one that says install for all users. Okay, and you can see when right now it looks like it's installing it in my um, user directory. And when I change install for all users, it puts it on the C drive where um, all of the Windows programs generally go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. And this will take a while. So I will fast forward to the end of the installation process here. All right, so we got that taken care of and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna close this out and then let's go ahead and get um, Pygame installed. All right, so now let's go ahead and get uh, Pygame installed. And again, don't just start following this video immediately, pay a little bit of attention, of attention to how you initially installed Python on your, on your computer because that makes a difference with what we do in the next steps. So um, first case scenario is you just installed Python for your, um, let's suppose you just installed Python for your user account on your uh, Windows computer. In that case, then all you need to do is open up a command prompt. So just hit Windows, type CMD, and open up a command prompt. And you're going to want to type this line right here. Pip install Pygame, and then the stuff at the end I want to use Pygame 2 in our class, and it's still kind of a developmental version, um, but it's got some advantages over one where it should be a little bit faster. So the most recent recent version of 2 is um, release development releases uh, 14, right? So it's pip install Pygame equals equals 2.0.0.dev dot zero dot zero, uh, dot dev 14. And all you have to do is take that and type it here. 
And then as soon as you hit enter, enter the installation should go. All right. Now, the other situation you might be in, and that is maybe you are on the administrator account and you want to install it and you installed Python for all users on your machine. Um, in that case, when you type CMD, right click on the command prop prompt and instead of just running it, I want you to run it as administrator. And again, you can type the same thing and this should work, okay? Um, now, it's not going to work on my computer because of the way the di district has um, uh, firewalls and the VPN set up, so I have to do something a little bit different. Um, that's right, so you, you will type this, um, so ignore me. Oops. Let me get that again, copy. And I'll hit enter. And even if you did with the regular pip install, you'll see the exact same thing happen here. And this shouldn't take too long. Okay. And it says it successfully installed Pygame. So we're all good. Now, if you want to confirm that it worked, um, there should be a program on your computer called idle. And I'm going to run that. And at the little prompt here, just type import Pygame. And if you get hello from Pygame, then you were successful. So I hope that was easy. And if you have any questions, just send me a message.